the wild boar versus the warthog. What happens when their tusks clash? Let's find out. I am Mario and this is Animal Battle. This episode's winner that will compete further for the title The Best Animal in the World is going to be chosen by you, as always, at the end of this episode, so stay tuned to find out how to cast an eligible vote. Before that though, I'm going to compare the Wild Boar and the Warthog based on the six sacred characteristics, which are agility, attack, defense, intelligence, bonus skill and survival. So the stronger animal is not necessarily the better one. Also, I will announce the winner of the last animal battle between the green anaconda and the reticulated python. That being said, let's go right to the first characteristic, agility. You might not think that these pig species have high agility, but they are actually capable of reaching surprising speeds. I'm talking about a speed of 40 km per hour for the wild boar and up to 48 km per hour for the warthog. The Warthog's smaller body is better suited for speed because running is often the best strategy when facing the plethora of predators in the African savanna. While their hooves aren't that useful for swimming, these pig species are still capable swimmers, being able to cover long distances. The hooves still prove to be quite inefficient for wild boars when moving in the snow. Luckily for Warthogs, they don't need to worry about snow in the African savanna. Wanna see their agility stats? Here we go! These two pig species have surprisingly high agility stats, warthogs being better in this category, obviously. I'm sure you'd like to know if a larger wild boar will make a comeback with its attack and defense stats, but before that, we need to talk about their bonus skills. Both of them are powerful diggers, but that seems counterintuitive, since these hooves wouldn't do a great job at digging, right? Well, yeah, the hooves are useless at digging, but that is why they actually use their snouts for digging, having large heads and powerful necks. Not only are their snouts great shovels, but they also grant the warthog and the wild boar incredible smell. Their hearing is also acute, although their eyesight is comparatively weak. An impressive adaptation that all pigs have is venom resistance. That paired with their thick skin makes them virtually immune to snake bites. Speaking of thick, wild boars also have a thick layer of fat to resist cold winters. Warthogs face the opposite problem, having to deal with hot temperatures. Since they don't have sweat glands, they often chill in the mud. That also helps them get rid of parasites. Still, that might not be enough to get rid of all the mites and insects on their skin, so they often visit the mongoose or oxpecker's paw, which will help warthogs get rid of insects by eating them. This is a mutualistic behavior, meaning that it benefits both species. And the last bonus ability that both of these pig species have is the fact that they are social animals. They form groups consisting of females and their young, which increases their chance of survival when they face predators and makes it easier to raise the piglets. Stats? They have pretty high bonus skill stats, which are more or less equal. Next comes their attack and defense stats. The size of wild boars is different depending on their range. In most of Europe, males average 75 to 100 kilograms in weight and 150 centimeters in length, being larger than females. But in northeastern Asia, wild boars can be huge, reaching brown bear-like sizes, weighing 270 kilograms and reaching up to 118 centimeters in shoulder height. It is true that not all males reach such an incredible size, but seeing one such individual in the wild would be quite scary. Warthogs are usually smaller, but they can still reach up to 1.5 meters in length and 150 kilograms in weight. Warthogs still win in task size. The upper canine teeth can reach up to 25 centimeters about twice longer than those of wild boars. You decide whether task size is important or not, but the bottom tasks being constantly rubbed against the upper ones makes them really sharp, becoming great weapons that definitely help intimidate their predators. Also, both the wild boar and the warthog are omnivorous, being able to eat a wide range of food, from berries and roots to insects, eggs and carrion. That is why they are some of the favorite customers in the Panda Tavern, as they usually eat anything available and in large quantities. What about defense? Both of these species are quite good at that, but still have some predators. Whilst large male wild boars don't really have predators being able to defend themselves, females and younger boars are vulnerable to attacks from wolves, snow leopards and brown bears. Warthogs run into more predators in the African savanna, from wild dogs and hyenas 
to lions, cheetahs and leopards. The vacant retreat in their burrows, which are usually stolen from aardvarks, can try to run or can face the predators head on, although the latter is more efficient when more warthogs face the predator at once. Being aggressive in such situations is an important adaptation to survive in such a hostile environment. If you've enjoyed this video so far, why don't you leave a like to show the YouTube algorithm that people enjoy this type of content and that it should recommend this video to more people. It would also make Spike really happy if you smash that subscribe button. So their attack and defense stats are... really high. Wild boars being naturally stronger and better at defense due to their large size. Still, the warthog is also surprisingly tough. When it comes to the intelligence, you wouldn't think that they are particularly special, but all pig species are actually some of the smartest animals. Studies show that pigs are capable of remembering objects, perceiving time and making use of learned information to navigate their environment. They can learn tricks just like a dog and are good problem solvers. Well, teaching wild boars and warthogs tricks might prove to be a challenge due to their aggression when they feel threatened, but they demonstrate their high intelligence by avoiding predators and traps made by humans. Also, there are some cases when even wild pigs act like humans. So their intelligence stats are... Very high. And last, but not least, let's talk about survival. Both of these species are doing well here. While we don't know their exact population, they are classified as least concerned species. The mother wild boar will give birth to about 2 to 8 piglets, which will live up to 10 to 14 years in the wild. The litter size of warthogs is usually 4 to 6 piglets, which will live 15 years on average. A nice thing is that if a mother dies prematurely, other females from the group will take care of the orphan piglets in both species. So let's take a look at their final stats. As we can see, both of them have high stats overall, Warthog specializing in agility and Wild Boar specializing in attack and defense. So who is the winner? It is all up to you because you can vote in the comments down below, writing hashtag Wild Boar or hashtag Warthog to cast your vote. Make sure you write correctly, as this is the only way for me to accurately count the votes. Speaking of votes, let's see who is the winner of the last animal battle between the Green and Akanda and the reticulated python. So, the winner is... The Anaconda! The largest snake alive. If you wanted the python to win, don't be upset, because here, on M from Animals, we love and respect all animals. Once again, don't forget to cast your votes in the comments, writing hashtag wildboar or hashtag warthog. I'd also like to thank my patrons for supporting me, and if you really love what I'm doing, you can also support me on Patreon to fill up that list with your name. Respect animals.